Welcome back artists. Here we are again at the Fullerton Community Center at the Senior Library Lounge and here we're here for another Art at Home and today we're going to be doing our lily pad inspired by the very own Monet and all of his beautiful lily pad water paintings that he did at his bridge. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, inside of your kits, you're gonna go ahead and get a little blank canvas here, a paintbrush, our fave, some Mod Podge, and assorted tissue papers. Um, something that you'll have to provide is a pair of scissors. So with that tissue paper, you're just gonna wanna create some lines all along your canvas. So yeah, we don't have to cover it all up. It's okay if there's some white pieces showing, that's good. Um, I'm gonna start adding some color in here. Let's go ahead and go in with some light blue. Um, once you're done, it should look something similar to this. I love adding the pink. Let's go ahead and get started with the lily pads. We're gonna start off with a uh, base of green for the lily pad and then we'll go ahead and work our way upwards to the very center. So we're gonna go ahead and cut up some of our tissue paper here and just the way you want to do is that um, go ahead and follow the lines of the tissue paper that you received. Just That's a lot bigger but just the size of your hand there. And this is where you're gonna get a little creative. Creative. Once you start twisting, you'll start to see that on top, it's kind of showing a little bit of a floral bouquet, um, but since it is gonna be on top of our lily pad, we were gonna wanna smush that down. Doesn't have to be perfect. Since we did that and we're smushing down, we're gonna wanna put Mod Pod right there in the center. Press that onto the middle of your lily pad. go ahead and go in with the opposite color of the flower so for example this one here we'll go ahead and do a fuchsia square and do the same thing of scrunching it in the middle and then when you're officially done with that within the middle of that you can go ahead and grab your yellow tissue paper create some holes to add the pollen within the lily pad All right, so once you're all done, it should look something similar to this. Of course, it's up to you. Every artist is different. You can make bigger lily pads, smaller lily pads, add a couple more of those ones that you see here all around. But we would love to see your guys' creation. So you can go ahead and always email us your pictures at the email that you can find down below. Or of course, you can always hashtag FTC Art at Home on any of our social media pages. So yeah, have a good day and see you guys next time.